What's going on guys? I'm Tyler and I'm here to let you know that Marriage Story is no perfect movie. And it centers around a newly separated couple played by Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver who want a divorce in as civil of a manner as possible until they consult with their lawyers Laura Dern, Ray Liotta, and Alan Alda and they learn the cold realities of the fact that fighting for yourself and fighting for what's best for your son are two completely different things. And I gotta say, after watching this movie, even if the direction was poor, even in the, if the script and the dialogue felt completely ham-fisted in force, the performances by Scarlett Johansson, Adam Driver, Laura Dern, and Alan Alda would have completely saved this movie. They all performed so well and had such a subtle way of portraying these characters that I stopped seeing them as actors. I started seeing all of them as people. And with Johansson and Driver, you get the sense that they have had chemistry together, that they've been a married couple. And when they're separated, they do such a good job at acting so nonchalant and peaceful when they're speaking to each other all alone, because it's not just because they want to be respectful to one another during the process, but this process is stressful enough for both of them individually, financial-wise, career-wise, all of those things. And... You get the sense through their facial expressions and their body language that they're having a really hard time bottling up these emotions every time they take a deep breath or look down at the ground when they hear something that they don't necessarily want to hear. And when they do finally snap, it felt genuine and it felt earned. It never felt forced or over the top. And Laura Dern did such a good job at portraying a character who you're not 100% sure if you're supposed to like or not. Because at the beginning, when she first meets Johansson, she's like... I'm all yours, I'll listen to anything you say about your marriage, what went wrong, I want to be your friend. And you believe that at first. But then she starts coaching her, which comes across as being so unethical and more concerned about winning a case. And you can't really tell if she's doing it just to win a case, or because, in her opinion, the court system is unfair and that coaching is a necessity in order to win. And even though... Alan Alda uses some of those exact same techniques. He's much more straightforward and blunt about how much a divorce costs, what it will do to you, to your career, to your friends and family who have to get roped in to stand up for, for you or to stand up for your ex. And basically Alan Alda's job in this movie is to say, don't get married because if it goes wrong, all this bad shit is going to happen to you. Which is kind of the reason why he was one of my favorite performances in this movie. Because it was so straightforward, but it felt so earnest. Because he doesn't bullshit people. He talks to you like you're an adult. And the other reason that this movie works so well is because of Noah Baumbach's script and direction. Directing-wise, he does two unique things that I wasn't entirely expecting. He films his actors in a lot of longer takes in a similar fashion that Spielberg would. Most of these long takes only last for a few minutes, so they don't really drag on. There's a lot of movement so that actors can go from one place to another, and the shots and angles all change as if there really was a cut in between. And it really allows the actors to just give a natural performance that, you, that could resemble real life. Even if an actor stutters or mumbles their own lines, you can attribute that to the character's stress, and it adds to the authenticity of their performances. And from a writing perspective, what's interesting is how he shows both perspectives of Johansson and Driver. Because at the beginning, we get these monologues about what the two of them can equally agree are their greatest strengths and weaknesses as parents to their son. And then we get a lot of scenes of each of them alone with their son. And you can piece together who's really a good parent and who isn't. Another big surprise was the perspective from the lawyers because you get a lot of scenes where, as you would expect in court, they're arguing with each other, they're calling each other by their first name, not as counselor, because it it's basically a pissing contest. You're just shooting insults at each other just to see which ones stick, which ones the jury and the judge will attribute to, that's bad for your son, you're a good parent, that type of thing. But then so many scenes outside of court, they're... They're best buddies. They have, like, no problem having civil conversations with each other. You get the sense that they've hung out with each other in their own personal lives outside of their business. And at first I was taken aback. I was just like, 
is this really how lawyers do things? And then it hit me. Divorces are such a huge financial hassle. You can go broke even if you get everything you want out of the divorce. And it just hit me. Of course they're friends. They get paid either way. They have nothing to lose if they actually lose everything in the case. And it's little facts like that and the attention to detail that gave me the sense that Baumbach is not just writing about his own divorce to Jennifer Jason Lee. You get the sense that he did interview a lot of professionals or maybe even close friends of his who have been through the exact same process. And it just felt so authentic and real and I believed every single aspect of it despite the fact that I've personally never really known that many people. I've known like one or two who have actually experience the divorce of their parents. Other than that, I really know nothing about it in real life. And the closest things I can think of as being real flaws are really just nitpicks. There are a couple characters like Julie Haggerty and Merritt Weaver as Johansson's mom and sister who, their dialogue and their roles in the movie feel a little more sitcomish as opposed to this grounded and realistic drama, but those scenes are just few and far between and they don't really affect the pace or the sense of humor or drama in the movie. And I would have liked to have seen more of Alan Alda in this movie because he's in it for about 10 minutes tops, but without giving anything away, there is a justifiable reason for him not being in the movie, and it does enhance how desperate these characters are to settle it on their own terms. Outside of that, Marriage Story was so well-directed, well-written, well-acted, and on a side note, a really good dramatic score by Randy Newman. And for all those reasons, I'm going to give Marriage Story a 4.5 out of 5. Guys, thanks as always for watching. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you thought of Marriage Story if you've seen it. If you haven't, check it out on Netflix. It just came out yesterday. And until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other reviews at NoPerfectMovie.com. Take care.